Eshalawam. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash, all right, the Paleo Hebrew, right, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten son in the ancient Hebrew, all right, the true and only name that you can call on to be saved, all right, if you are an Israelite, all right, on your father's lineage, all right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace and grace be upon the house of David, the Bayath Dawada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel, which shall be on earth when Yahweh Shai returns, okay, in the second coming to destroy this wicked rulership, all right, that is being spearheaded by Babylon the Great, which is America, okay, who is being ran by the Edomites that the Bible speaks of, right? The, the, the wicked that is ruling right now are the biblical Edomites, all right? Whether you believe it or not, or whether you know it or not, all right? The double honest of the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and peace, salutations, and blessings to the men, the watchmen, okay, that's, that's standing upon their leaves, all right? And upon their watchtower, you know, uh, uh, constantly trying to feed the sheep, man. About the days that we're in. Okay, so this is the article that came out today, May 1st, which is uh, Illuminati, Illuminati uh, birthday, all right, the, 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 the day that Illuminati was uh, founded, okay, which is being ruled by the wicked elites, you know, the central bankers, because this whole thing, Esau's whole setup is revolving around money, man. Money is Esau's, uh, it's his power, it's his God, okay, but Hey, that, that holds no weight, man. And this article is showing you that this devil, all right, he's about to collapse this whole thing, man. Okay, he's about to collapse this whole, these elites, man, these super elites, all right? They're about to collapse this whole economic system because they want to be like the most high. And that's why they're going to implement this, uh, their RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast that's spoken about in Revelation, the 13th and 14th chapter, man. Okay, so the headline reads, Global Debt Balloons to All-Time High of $164 Trillion. Now, these elites, all right, sp uh, specifically the Rothschilds, which are Edomites, okay, even though they go by uh, so-called Jewish, Israelis, whatever, they're Edomites, man. They know that they're, they're the, 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 the biblical Edomites. Even their name Rothschild means red shield, all right, the red, red child, all right. As Esau came out, you know, bears witness to that. But they're worth over $500 trillion. So if they really didn't want, you know, their system to collapse, they could write a check for this and still be the, 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 the wealthiest, um, wealthiest family in the world. Okay, but once again, they want to be like the Most High pursuant to Isaiah, the 14th uh, chapter. So they're, they're create, creating this problem so that they could bring in the solution, order, out of chaos, man. Order out of chaos, okay? Their new world order, which is going to be by way of implementing this mark of the beast, the RFID chip, that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark, all right? But going into this article, it says the world is now 12% of GDP deeper in debt than it was at the peak of the financial crisis in 2009, says the International Monetary Fund, IMF. China was described as a driving force behind the new debt's levels. According to its fiscal monitor report, global debt is at a historical high, reaching the equivalent of 225% of GDP. Once again, GDP stands for gross domestic product. All right, so they're saying that it's the debt of the world is 12% higher than what it was in 2009, okay, which was, you know, around the time of the Great Recession. So things have not been getting better globally, all right, global, uh, e uh, economically, globally, it's only getting worse, all right, and the spiritual that the number is 12, but reading on, it says 164 trillion is a huge number, said Vitor Gasper, head of the IMS Fiscal Affairs Department. When we, took, when we talk about the risks looming on the horizon, one of the risks has to do with the high level of public and private debt. Now, they're talking about risk that is, that's on the horizon, man. When something's on the horizon, that means it's on the way, okay? Now, when you couple, uh, couple this with the fact that uh, Trump is doing these trade wars, 
All right. And he's telling the people that, yeah, the, it's going to be a little a little bumpy in the beginning. It's going to be a little, you know, tight in the beginning, but it's going to, you know, long term it's going to work out for the benefit of America. This is what it is, man. This is all because he's a puppet. All right. Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Duck is a puppet. All right. This this uh, tightness, this uh, this risk that's coming on the horizon is going to be a global economic disaster, man. And here in America, they're going to feel it the worst. And it's going this and this article is going to show you why America is going to feel it the worst. Other than the fact that in this place is it, just a perverse, wicked spirit. OK, there's no camaraderie. There's no, you know, scripture says that love of many shall wax worse. OK, yeah, yeah, you th this is a melting pot, man. There's no sense of nationality because you have a whole bunch of different nationalities in this place. OK, and ultimately it's because this place has the blood of the saints on it. You have the Israelites in captivity. All right. Everybody in America, man, they just waiting for that trigger. All right. That trigger thing to start killing each other, which is what the whole movie you know, that whole uh, uh, series saga of the Purge is about, which they're coming out, uh, coming out with the new Purge, which blatantly shows you Jacob's trouble. But, you know, that's on another topic. Continuing on, it says the ballooning debt could make it harder for countries to respond to the next recession and pay off debts if financing conditions tightens, according to the fund. So they're already letting you know there's going to be a next recession. And this is what all these economists are saying, all these investors all these people that are in the, the, the uh, economic world is saying, like, look, there is going to be another crisis. But the thing about this next crisis is it's going to hit way harder than any other crisis that this place has ever seen because of the of the bubble of the manipulation of the market that is being done by the elites. All right. Because what the elites wants to do, what, are the, what is their agenda is to completely collapse this this whole system. And to bring in their new world order through the mark of the beast so that they could have complete control over everybody in the world, man. Everybody, every uh, 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 person. They want a global order, man. All right. So there's going to be. But it's the next the next collapse is not going to be a recession. It's going to be uh, they're going to try to restart the, 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 the system, man. That's what they're trying to they're going to try to do. They're going to try to restart the system. But as the scripture says, as soon as they think that they have filled their belly, then they're going to be struck through because they're not going to they're not going to be able to sit back and enjoy the fruits of their wicked labor, man, which is uh, chipping everybody. They're not going to get to chip everybody. OK, they're definitely not chipping the elect, which is why they're going to start. You know, that's why you're going to have the concentration camps. You're going to have, you know, these FEMA camps, which they're setting up throughout the United States. OK, but going on, it says. It's said that China has accounted for almost three quarters of the increase in private debt since the global financial crisis. Japan and U.S. account for more than half of the global debt. The IMF says that the reason for the debt buildup is the economic collapse during the 2008 financial crisis and the policy response to that crisis. So the policies that that responded to this 2008 crisis did not help the system. It did not help the, the economy. So all this BS that the economy is doing great and, you know, we, we're able to raise interest rates because, you know, we're having such a good consumerism and, and, and you know, uh, unemployment is at an all time low. All that is BS, man, that the, you're having greater and greater debt throughout the world, man, which is debt needs to be. First of all, you can't pay off that that amount. Once again, the only thing you can redo, only thing you can do is restart the system. It's like playing Monopoly. When you just owe the bank so much money, only thing that you could do at that point is just flip the table over and then everything gets messed up and then you just start all over again. That's what these elites are going to do, man. OK. And them and them starting the, t the, the game over is them bringing in that that mark. All right. That chip, the micro trip chip. OK, it says. It also blamed the effects of the commodities price crash in 2014, as well as rapid spending growth in the emerging markets in low income developing countries. Talking about the U U.S. Babylon, it said that the fiscal stimulus is happening when the economy is close to full employment, keeping overall debt, uh, keeping overall deficits, deficits above one trillion 
or 5% of GDP over the next three years. The report has cited that the U.S. that the select the report has cited the United States as the only advanced economy that is expected to see a further increase in its debt to GDP ratio over the next five years. The IMF has attributed that to President Donald Trump tax cuts and simultaneously, uh, simultaneously increased in spending. So it's the only advanced economy that is expected to see further increase in the debt to GDP ratio. So that 12 percent that we read up here, you know, on average for America is going to be higher. You know, it's going to it's going to increase. OK, because, hey, man, this the grinding is ceasing in this place, man. All right. People are getting more and more and more in debt. That's why you're seeing more houses foreclosed, more people's cars are being repoed. You know, uh, uh, more credit cards, you know, are being maxed out. People are not paying back their student loans. All these things are happening in this economy. And here you're trying to say that the economy is doing good. Hell no, man. This place is through. It says, I, according to the IMF, 19 countries have either reached or far surpassed their debt ceilings this year. And it's only May. It says 2017, more than a third of advanced economies debt uh, had a debt above 85% of GDP. Pfft. In 2000, the number of advanced countries had reached this level of debt was three times lower. So in 17 years, this number has reached, has, has tripled, man. The whole world is about to be in for a financial collapse, man. A economic dis dis destruction. Okay? Which is going to lead to wars, man. Once again, as I said in my vid other video, which is a, a common saying, all wars are bankers' wars. It's all about money with this devil. It says the IMF said countries should take decisive action to rebuild their fiscal buffers so that they can increase spending during hard times. It is urged the United States. It has ur has urged the U.S. whose budget deficit it is expected to surpass one trillion by two, uh, 2020 to recalibrate <laughs> its fiscal policy so government gdp government debt debt to gdp levels decline over the medium term which is not man all right hey this place might not even make it to, to 2020 the way it's going okay back to chapter uh two verse four two verse five uh yeah also because he transgressive by one his philosophies okay him going around OK, pressuring people into his system by way of, you know, financial pressure or military pressure. OK, that's how Esau does it, man, with the military and with the finances. He is a proud man. That's right. Neither keepeth at home. And he doesn't. He goes around throughout the world, destroying uh, uh, sovereign countries and then putting in central banking, uh, the central banking uh, system, man. OK, it says who enlargeth his desire as hell and wherever he goes, he turns it into hell. Just like how this place, America, before Esau got here, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, this was a place, you know, this was a paradise. But now it's fucking hell, man. That's why David said the valley of the shadow of death. It says, and as death, wherever Esau goes, death follows, man. Okay? You can read about that in Revelation, the sixth chapter. And cannot be satisfied. And he, and he can't be. <laughs> he, where, his Esau doesn't stop. All right. He does. He's never satisfied with what he got. That's why he's going to all these different countries trying to suck out the, the, the natural resources of that country, man. But gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. OK, when you go into that word clay. It says what? Heavy uh, uh, weight of pledges, heavy debts, man. $164 trillion is a heavy debt, okay? Which is being spearheaded by who? America, man. All right? Because everybody's using the U.S. dollar, right? More or less. But now you got people going, to, going away from this dollar, all right? So all this money, $120, $164 trillion, that's in U.S. currency, but everybody moving away from the currency. What's that? So what's that going to do, man? That's going if 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 uh, the you if the uh, American dollar is not the world currency, that's going to fuck up the American uh, economy. 
But once again, once the American economy gets messed up, it's going to trickle. It's going to trickle down and mess up everybody's economy, man. Because this the the economy is globally in, in, uh, intertwined, man. This is a uh, everything's interconnected when it comes to the stocks and in, in, in the economy in this world. All right. Get this uh, next scripture, James. Um, the book of James, chapter five, verse one. It says, "Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries." That shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and your silver is cankered. The rust of them shall be a witness against you. And ye shall and, and, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. And have heaped treasures together for the last days. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields. Which is of, which is of you kept back by fraud crieth. And the cries of them which have reaped. Are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath oath, man, which is our which is our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Lord of the armies, man. Okay? The cries of the poor, the the the, the, the needy, the, the the poor in spirit, all right. The, those cries of the Israelites are going into the Father, man. And that's why he's he's systematically destroying your 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 system. But really, he put it in your minds to destroy your own system because because you think that you're you you destroying the system. You're going to uh, destroy and rebuild. <laughs> All right? Because that's what you say in your mind. That you're going to destroy, but you should... Uh, let me get that in Micah. Uh, Malachi. All right? You think that you're going to be able to uh, rebuild this, but guess what, buddy? You're not going to be able to rebuild this, man. You're going straight into slavery. Mal Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people whom Yahweh has indignation, uh, uh, indignation forever, man. So you, you, your time is up, man. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Your time is up. All right. Your system, you're not going to, you're not going to recreate your system, man. All right. Yeah, you're going to have the, you're going to implement the, the, the chip, make it mandatory, but you're not going to see the, the fruits of that, man. Let me get that in Job. It's a book of Job chapter 20. Start around the 15th verse. It says, he have swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. The most high shall cast them out of his belly. That's right. Because you got rich off of the blood, sweat, and tears off of rape, robbery, and murder. Okay. So mainly of the Israelites, as the scripture says, you know, uh, woe to him that gotten uh, riches uh, 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 deceitfully, man. Okay. And injuries gotten by deceit. Okay. Unrighteous dealings. So you got all these riches thinking that you're going to, you know, gather them up for the last days. But nah. All that's going to be vomited right up, man. Okay? The rich is going to the forces of the Gentiles is laid up for the, for the saints, man. All that gold and silver that you got in them, in them bunkers and in, in, in them vaults, all right? All them precious stones, those are going to the Israelites, man, the elect. Okay? Starting with the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're going to go and you're going to gather them for us, man. Okay? But your whole system is through. $164 trillion of debt, that's not going to be paid off, man. That's why this economy is going to collapse, man. And it's going to hit the hardest here in America. Okay? I mean, jump. It says that which he labored, uh, labored for shall shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be and he shall not rejoice therein because he has oppressed and forsaken the poor because he has violently taken away in the house which he built if not. OK, hey, in, in, in Esau society, they say that in order to have rich, you need the poor, man. Do you, you have to in Esau's wicked ass capitalistic society? In order for the rich to get richer, they have to oppress the poor. They have to make sure they got poor people. All right? But what? You, you're going to have to pay for that, man. Verse 20. Surely he, shall not feel, surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. Yeah, you're not going to save your kingdom, man. Your kingdom is through. How is the golden city cease? Babylon, Babylon cease, man. Okay? It says, there shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods and the fullness of his sufficiency. When you think you're about to, you know, create this new world order and, and, and everything is about to go your way. You, he shall be in straits and every hand of the wicked shall come upon him because you're going to have all these different you know, men. OK, all these different countries. Some, some of them being your so-called allies, they're going to turn on you. Uh, Iran, Russia, which all that's brewing up over there in the Middle East. All that's going to turn on you, man. OK, all these countries going to bombard you with them thermonuclear missiles, man, because they've drunken of the wine of the wrath of your fornication. 
which is your philosophies and your fake ass fiat money. That's why you got all these countries now, you know, going back to using having uh, using the real money, which is gold and silver as the uh, the, the means for uh, um, trading, man. Not this fiat or FRNs that have no value. OK, but, you know, want to bring that out, man. We in them times, man. OK, this 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 economy's done, man. OK, it's telling you right here the loop, the risk of loom that are looming on the horizon. All right. This we're at the we're at the last the last bit of this economy, man. And this devil knows it. These elites know it. But you regular peons. All right. Speaking to you, Israelites, I need to wake the hell up, man. That money that you that you working hard for. Yeah, you got to, you know, money is a defense. But understand that money is not going to have as a scripture. I'm going to get that. And I ended with that. OK, because there's only really one defense, man. And that's your how about shimmy I was shot. All right. There's really only one defense. Your money is not going to save you in a day. All right. Right here. Proverbs 14, 11 and 4. Richest profiteth not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death, man. So you ain't going to be able to buy your way out of this hell that's coming. OK, because your money is not going to be worth nothing, man. When this economy collapses, your money is going to be worth uh, uh, lighting a fire to keep your ass warm because all the lights are gonna go out, man. Okay, but you know, Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. Once again, you know, feeding the sheep, man. Hey, pay attention and uh, keep watching, man. As Yahweh Shai told us to do, watch therefore and pray always, man, that we are able, counted worthy to escape the things that are coming. Shalom.